Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the capabilities and limitation of chat GPT. It seems as the talk of the season. Let's see what it can do. In part 1, I'm going to talk all the good things about it and part B, I'm going to talk about its limitation. So let's get started. I want to ask you to write a paragraph on evolution for me. So write a paragraph on evolution. Evolution is the process by which all living things have developed from primitive organisms over billions of years. Evolution is driven by natural selection, which is the process in which organisms that are better adapted to their environment survive and reproduce more than other members of the same species. Natural selection leads to the formation of diverse species, as those better adapted to their environment make more offspring than those poorly adapted. Over time, these differences accumulate and cause new species to emerge. As a result, the Earth's biodiversity continually changes over time. This process has proved so powerful that it is the central organizing principle of all biology. So as you can see, it is grammatically and lexically cracked. It doesn't have any spelling error, and the, this text has been generated by AI. It's not copied and pasted from anywhere. So I'm going to ask it to use more advanced words. So I get a better grade. How about that? Evolution is the process by which living organisms undergo modification over successive generations, giving rise to diverse and complex forms of life. This can occur as a result of natural selection, which acts as a powerful driver of adaptation and evolution. Selecting those individuals with better suited characteristics to their environment in order to reproduce more successfully than their counterparts. Through this differential reproduction, variation accumulates between species and new species emerge over time. This pattern of evolutionary change has been fundamental in shaping the incredible diversity of life seen on Earth today. I'm going to ask you to add references, cite references in the text and add bibliography at the end using APA style. I'm going to mute it so I can talk over it, but you can see the text being generated and the references that are going to be added to our text. So uh, we can ask this AI tool to generate more paragraphs, generate the whole essay, uh, make it shorter, smaller, adding more examples, more references, change the reference styles, uh, make it more advanced, and so forth. So basically it can generate an essay for us, a report for us. So you can see uh, the references that are being added. Now I'm going to ask it to do something else. So I'm going to ask it to generate a resume for me. Generate a resume for me with experience in mechanical engineering. Uh, I still have muted it but you can see when the resume is generated. So I call it John Doe, mechanical engineer, the email, the phone number. So it doesn't have any information about me. So this one has been generated based on the writing that has been trained. So the AI or artificial intelligence generates based on the training data. So for such a powerful AI, the training data has, has been thousands or hundreds thousands of resume that it can detect what a resume is like, what information it needs to have, what style it needs to have. And if you ask again, it's going to create with totally different resume. You can see it added the education and uh, uh, other aspects of it as well. So we can ask a question if I use the report you generated 
will I be cut with plagiarism? Let's hear its answer. No, as long as you cite the references included in the report. When using someone else's work, it is important to always provide proper citations and credit the original creator of the content. Additionally, it is a good practice to double check the report for plagiarism using an online tool before submitting it. Uh, well, the, you would not be, the, the AI generated texts are not gonna be detected by plagiarism tools because they're not copied and pasted from anywhere. I've been freshly generated. There are ways to identify that, uh, but uh, that's an interesting aspect of AI. So now for the third thing that we wanted to do, let's say write an Instagram post about the importance of positivity and include relevant hashtags. Positivity is essential in life. No matter how difficult or challenging life gets, it's important to stay positive and believe that better days are ahead. Positive thinking, stay smiling, power off positivity. Y'all got this, believe in it or self, stay positive. What interesting, let's see if you wanna post every day, so you need to come up with things. So let's say, uh, write another one on the same topic. Maintaining a positive attitude is key on the road to success. Stay optimistic and keep your head up. No matter what life throws your way, positive vibes looking on the bright side at it. off gratitude, stay positive, immense at happiness, siski, spread the love. Uh, that's very interesting. So you can see the power of AI tool. That was part one. In part two, I'm going to talk about its limitations and when we can use it and when we shouldn't use uh, ChatGPT or any other AI tools like this.